And then these field event results. I mean, you have Krauser losing, and then you have Rojas and Duplantis breaking world records. I think if you look at them in totality, they matter because all three have been dominant, but the Krauser loss shows that it's not a guarantee, even when you get into a championship setting, which just makes you appreciate and are impressed by how good Krauser and Rojas have been in addition to uh, Duplant, or sorry, how, how good Duplantis and Rojas have been. And just Rojas is getting to a point, her level of dominance is just nuts that every time she does break a world record, it, it just matters because it's, it's, she's just breaking new ground every time she goes out there and jumps. So I think all three of those field event results did matter. Now, with Krauser, am I putting him number two behind Darlin Romani? No, I'm not, because that's a completely different situation than Coleman and, and Jacobs, because we've seen what Krauser's done 2020 and 2021. But I, but I thought those field events results did matter. Yeah, I mean, I kind of disagree with you, Holt. Like, for some reason now, whenever either of those three break a world record, it actually is becoming less impressive, which is a weird thing to say because they've normalized their greatness where it feels normal for them to break world records. They're like making historic moments seem inevitable, which is like, you know. It's weird. Well, here's the thing. There's, there's a certain there's certain athletes in all sports where like they normalize such rare feats where we just aren't able to appreciate it. You know, like I don't think it's normal. Here's, I think it, people have like appreciated how good Tom Brady is at his age. I'm not even a Tom Brady fan, right? But that's not normal to be one of the top cor- quarterbacks in a game with a bunch of young 20 year olds and doing it in an age 40 plus. And I also think it's not normal for you to go out there and your baseline is within centimeters of the greatest to ever do it in the history of the sport. You know, that's just like crazy that Krauser, Rojas and Duplantis's standard is within, you know, within all time of the history of the thousand years of our sport. I don't even know how long our sport is, but Probably not a thousand years, but you get the idea. <laughs> cool. a thousand years. I like it. But here's where it's different. Duplantis is chasing Bubka. So I do think every time he breaks a world record and puts another one up there, that matters. And what Rojas is doing is just the margin with which she's breaking it by is just obscene. And I think Krauser's loss speaks to how hard that is. And that's why I think it almost lends a little more credence to it. Hey, because, you know, it's different. Like, field events are different than running attempts. Running events, not attempts. You know, you get multiple attempts at it. It's it's different in its own way. And you think, all right, well, Krauser's going to get at least one out there that that can beat this guy. But, you know, Romani has an amazing day. Krauser's slightly off. He says preparation was not great. He said the de- time between throws impacted him. So it's just, it's hard to win these competitions even among among the very best. So that's why I thought those those three mattered. But 